Contemporary Coast Salish Art, created by April Strickland from the Indigenous Education in Burnaby Schools. Who are the Coast Salish people? The Coast Salish people, whose traditional territory also includes the south end of Vancouver Island and parts of Washington and Oregon, have a complex history. While the different nations have always had cultural, trade, and family ties and range freely along the south coast, that diversity indicates a lengthy history. The Coast Salish rely purely on oral history and their art which often features animals, both real and symbolic, typically illustrated stories handed down over generations, connecting ancestors, elders, and youth. The Revival of Coast Salish Art Much of the Coast Salish art was lost many years ago due to the 60 Scoop Residential School and Potlatch Bands. Susan Point, an indigenous artist from Musqueam, has devoted a great deal of time to revive this art form and attempt to help the public understand the importance of Coast Salish art. In addition to reviving Coast Salish design, Point, together with a small group of artists, have brought out aspects of the Coast Salish culture that has not previously received much scholarly attention. Point has directly contributed to a greater awareness of not only Coast Salish design principles, but also Coast Salish culture in general. What is contemporary Coast Salish art? Unlike the work of Haida and other First Nation communities, whose artists use form lines, ovoids, and U-forms to create their designs, Coast Salish art appears more minimalist with less focus on detail and pattern, and more on round edges and expressive faces. Coast Salish art can generally be recognized by small round eyes and circular faces, and simplified human figures. Coast Salish design compromises an outline form that defines the space and boundaries of the overall design and connects all other elements. The outline form reflects a central belief in the interconnectedness of all things and that humans, the natural, the natural world, and the universe form a whole entity. There are four different types of Coast Salish elements of designs. The first two are oval and circle. These two represent cycles, unity, and centrality. When we talk about cycles, we talk about the cycles of nature, such as the sun, moon, and sky. When we talk about cycles, we think about the seasons of nature and of human life. It reminds us that it is important to consider how our actions affect ourselves, our people, and our generations yet to come. The second elements of designs are the trigons and crescent. The crescent represents phases, phases such as life and phases such as the moon. It can also be characterized as a marking of passage of time in seasons rather than weeks, months, or years. The Coast Salish people relied heavily on seasonal rounds and using these seasonal phases to help with their day-to-day -day living. The trigon is a spiritual connection. This design element has four points, three surface points and a fourth inner point. The fourth point was central to Kosalis teaching because four is a ritual number. There are four major directions and four aspects of human nature, the physical, the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. Now that you've learned a little about contemporary Coast Salish art, try creating your own. Use the elements of design as a template. Grab some paper and a pencil and start creating. You may also want to Google contemporary Coast Salish art or look up local indigenous artists to use for inspiration. 
The following are resources that were used in this presentation. If you would like to learn more about Coast Salish art, please visit the following websites. Thank you for listening.